Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to give my first impressions on Gravity Rush Remastered for the PlayStation 4. So, I actually own Gravity Rush on my PS Vita, and uh, it is still of my opinion that the Gravity Rush on PS Vita was the best Vita game still to this day. Um, it just had really great controls. It really utilized, you know, the system, you know, well for all of its gimmicks and what it did. And it was just a really cool game. And graphically, because it was a very artistic of style game, you know, it didn't, you didn't have like all these, uh, you know, really kind of low textures or things like that. Everything kind of looked really nice, you know, especially on the Vita's OLED display. It looked really cool. So, being it being remastered on the PlayStation 4, um, it's pretty much the same game, but it's been heavily upgraded in terms of its visual and art style to meet with, you know, the PlayStation 4's um, system specs and really bring the game more to life and, uh, you know, have a more vivid experience overall. So, on top of it being not only a graphics upgrade, we also have a resolution upgrade and frame rate upgrade on Vita. You know, it was it was maxed out at 30 frames per second. Uh, you know, the Vita doesn't doesn't have a 720p screen, so I think it's like I think it's 950 by 540 the resolution for the Vita screen. Um, so that being said, the jump to 1080p this time around is uh, a really substantial one, and you also get 60 frames per second. That is, um, from what I can tell, pretty consistent. I haven't noticed any judders or anything like that. Um, it's pretty much been a locked smooth 60 frames per second. You got really nice motion blur in there um, That isn't too strong at all. It's like this really light motion blur that just adds to the smoothness of the game and uh, Just overall looks really nice uh, The characters have significant upgrade in detail. They their eyes you can tell are just more uh, they have more life to them They don't feel as static or cartoony Um as well as, you know, just the physics system, everything has just a much more, uh, you know, substantial upgrade this time around. And uh, the, the increase in frame rate makes playing the game so much more enjoyable uh, this time around. The PS uh, Vita version was locked at 30 frames, but it also had some dips. And uh, you'd be playing combat. And for the most part, you know, you, it was fine on the Vita. But uh, there were those, you know, a couple of hiccup moments where the game kind of jittered a little bit and would make combat a little bit... Uh, frustrating. Um, this time around, you know, with the controls of the DualShock 4, you just have much more precision over what you want to do, and combat feels much more uh, intuitive, uh, just feels overall better because of the DualShock 4 controller, um, as well as the smooth frame rate, which really helps, you know, again, just make combat just really fun to play. Um, so this, that being said, we all know that Gravity Rush 2 was uh, announced for the PlayStation 4 as an exclusive, and uh, that constitutes the remastered version being ported over to PlayStation 4 as well. So that being said, um, if you have, if you don't have a Vita and uh, you didn't have an opportunity to play Gravity Rush, picking up the remastered is definitely going to, uh, you know, be an enjoyable experience. And you know, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty enjoyable game. It's um. Obviously, it's a Japanese game here. There's no uh, English voiceover, and there's barely even any voiceover. Most of the time, it's just, you know, kind of quirky sound effects and you skipping through comic strips and, you know, dialogue uh, bubbles. But that's uh, that's about it. There's barely any, like, hardcore dialogue in the game. Um, but when it is, it's still enjoyable to watch, especially the cutscenes this time around, just because they're much more higher in fidelity. Uh, all the characters, you know, kind of uh, just... They, they feel better, you know, they look better and they can come across more emotional to, to what's going on and things like that. And it's just an overall great, um, great thing to see. So uh, that being said, uh, my opinions on the game have not, you know, significantly changed, I guess, going over to the PlayStation 4 because I already liked the game on the Vita. And this is just an opportunity for me to play the game in a better visual, smoother frame rate, and experience the same uh, cool narrative that was in the original Vita title. I actually did not have the opportunity to beat the PS Vita game. I, I just, I played it, I started playing it heavily like a long time ago. And then for whatever reason, I just stopped playing and uh, I never went back to it. So, but now with, you know, the remastered out and uh, now that I own it, uh, it's just, you know, it's just cool to pick up the game again and revisit and kind of relearn the the controls and what's going on and just see the world as it was intended with higher quality textures, uh, better colors on my monitor and um, just overall 
better frame rates so it's more enjoyable and things like that there's more stuff that they can put on screen now now the uh the city is much more alive this time around they did a pretty good job of bringing it to life on the ps vita but you just have more people on on stage here uh so it makes it much more enjoyable and uh, just gives the city kind of this nice this nice breath of fresh air and gives it life and things like that so it's really just a game that's that's great for exploring on top of doing missions and things like that so you know it's it's one of you ha the, the premise here is that you can control gravity around you you have the ability to um basically go in a any time engage in zero gravity you can float around you can carry objects around you and people and uh, you can actually you know f basically use your gravity powers to your advantage in combat and uh, certain enemies will require you to, to hit them from behind or hit them at an angle in which you need to be suspended up in the air and do that. And, uh, you know, that's that's kind of just the whole concept that the game is using these gravity powers to, you know, defeat your enemies and uh, save the city from total annihilation. The city this time around, it, it's a lot of people are going to get these uh, similarities to Bioshock Infinite since it is a floating city up in the sky. Um, it's really interesting. It's, it's, again, it, it's, a, it's kind of like a muted art style. You have, um, like this, this standard kind of gray color. Well, not really gray. It's more like a pink hazy color, uh, color palette around the world. And as you progress through different parts of the city, since there's different, there's multiple different, you know, cities, <laughs> I guess, within this town area, or I should say multiple, di multiple towns within this large city, I guess you can say city and towns are like very similar, but the bottom line is that you have different uh, places to explore, not just this one given area, and uh, you unlock them as you progress through the games. And these different uh, cities, if you will, have different art styles and different color palettes to them, which makes it pretty enjoyable. This time around, you also have DLC added to the game, I believe. So there, there was um, some extra side missions that you didn't actually have the opportunity to do um, in the original game. There's, um, on top of that, you get extra outfits and things like that for, uh, the, the main character, Cat, and, uh, just, you know, overall, you got, you got more stuff to do this time around and all. It's pretty much like the Game of the Year edition, but you get better graphics and things like that, so, overall, um, enjoying going back to Gravity Rush. I'm, uh, having a good time with it and, uh, hope to beat it really soon, and, uh, whenever Gravity Rush 2 gets released, I don't know if it's going to be released this year or next year, but whenever it gets released, I am looking forward to it. Hopefully that they, uh, really, you know, kind of build upon the foundation here, because they have a really great foundation. Build upon the city's art style, just make it more colorful and booming, and especially being developed purely for the PlayStation 4 this time around, I think on top of not only getting 60 frames per second in the sequel, we're going to get a much more realistic and vibrant world than what we have here in the remastered. So it's going to turn out really nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think if you played Gravity Rush um, on the PlayStation Vita or if you did not and you got it on the PlayStation 4. Let me know what you guys think of the game and uh, I'll check you all later. Have a good one.